Okay, brainwave entrainment with light. Now, this all began around 200 BC with Ptolemy and a spinning spoked wheel. And as he spun this wheel and it glinted in the sun and flashed light into his eyes, he began to experience feelings of euphoria. And about 2,100 years later, French psychologists were doing the same thing, using flashing lights to reduce patient hysteria to help them to relax. Now, light flashes represent a frequency in hertz, in other words, pulses per second. So 10 pulses per second would generate a feeling of relaxation. The brain picks up on this particular pattern and entrains itself to it. Now, in the 60s and the 70s, mind machines and the dream machine hit the market, uh, and they offered other methods, you know, similar methods, of entraining the mind and changing how you feel. And there are plenty of these mind machines still available today. Uh, but it didn't stop there, because any form of external stimuli can be used to entrain the brain. Think of um, psychically rubbing a baby's back to help them get to sleep, gently slowing down what you're effectively doing there is you're, you're slowing down their brain waves. You're actually using brainwave entrainment to help them get to sleep. So brainwave entrainment uh, can be used with light, with touch, but most importantly, brainwave entrainment can be used with audio.